No mess ups, I'm happy being me Now I understand what it means to be free Reflecting how you infected my inner soul The best is how I corrected and took control You couldn't change, and I'm never the same Now I'm stuck with this pain, and I know who to blame No need to turn it back, no need to rewind To the past, now alas, I am truly defined I don't wish you stress, I hope your life is a mess Because you deserve much less And after all, you just helped me fall Now I won't be satisfied till I'm watching you crawl, crawl You helped me fall, but now I won't be satisfied After all, you just help me fall. Now I won't be satisfied till I'm watching you crawl, crawl. You help me fall, but now I won't be satisfied until I'm watching you crawl. After all, you just help me fall. Now I won't be satisfied till I'm watching you crawl, crawl. You help me fall, but now I won't be satisfied until I'm watching you crawl.
did we ever get involved with you? Is it Ty? Ty from the glitch? Imagine that. Ty. Yeah, Mike first. Good. Mike first. First employee. And Ty brought me out here to see the, the grounds. Because we were planning this party and we had nowhere to do it. We had, we had the bands lined up. We had, it's kind reservoir. of a backwards order. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We had our whole schedule and everything. We just had no place to do well, it. Oh, yeah, you did. Remember, you went out with Blake to that one spot? And then it, yeah, it, it flooded. It was completely flooded. And it was out in the middle of nowhere. If you can imagine <laughs> flooding in Iowa. Most people say this is out in the middle of nowhere. No, this, <laughs> this is somewhere, at least. Gosh, is this the uh, first or second year? That you've year. done this fifth, fifth year, fifth wow! Year. Second, has it just grown every year it, since you've been the party second, the first three? Yeah, second legal year as a festival. Okay, <laughs> first first three years were just a big party. Party, party. right? Party. What, uh, we got our you guys are what eight piece? Base for about three years now. Seven. 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 Well, a four piece barely fits it on there. Oh, this is nice, cool. So this was completely uh, redone by Jerry. This, the first year we had this party, this was a dirt floor. Dirt floor. There was no concrete wow. out here. This was a, a dirt floor. He basically, I mean, he benefits from it too on his own, but he really did it for this party. Wow. Yeah, and we've had, uh, we've had street teams at a lot of major festivals, and we've had street teams in the Quad Cities, Cedar Falls, Cedar Rapids, Des Moines. So I think there's going to be a lot of people out here for the entire weekend, mm -hmm. no matter what happens. I think it could be thunderstorming and it'd be packed up. All the way up to, you know, you know, about right here into the sweet buffet, little diner eatery type thing. Then I want to have, uh, and maybe even farther out this way for that sort of thing. Then I want to have the massage therapist about right here. And maybe a teeny little lounge section or, you know, yeah, good lounge. What? Yeah, that perimetered off by couches or chairs or something. Yeah, you know, that's that's the fun to me. That's the, to me that's the most fun thing to do of the whole entire festival. Yeah, you know, to plan to make those to make that backstage area so those bands feel like this is the coolest thing they've done in the, you know okay. in a long time. Um, and the guys that I'm just about to talk about, <laughs> Tipping Cow Entertainment, who does festivals all over the country. Um, they are the first vendor that will start here and what the, they are setting up right next to them They have a body a naked body painter. They will be um, Taking just donations the person just does it for free when they are not uh, working at the actual station pizza on Dubuque, or pizza on wheels, which is a, a Spring off company of pizza on Dubuque here in Iowa City They're they mystic toys the fire their a group of fire dancers um, they, they sell some little, you know, they have little kids activities during the day and then at nighttime. The Corridor Buzz, they're going to have that booth and that's where you can put some of your pamphlets right in here. Full bar or just beer? Full bar. Full, full bar. bar? Really? Yeah, Went yeah. for the full liquor license. All right. Which is pretty exciting. <laughs> which is really, really, really exciting.
What's your name again? My name's Ty Byerly. Ty, and you're with the Glitch, you yes, said. Yes, sir. You're playing what, Saturday night? Saturday night late. What, uh, can you tell us what uh, what your involvement is with the festival itself? Well, uh, basically, if it wasn't for me, this festival wouldn't even happen. I'm the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Make sure that well, yeah, back in, when we started this thing five years ago, we were looking for a place to have it, and I happened to rent from Mr. Jerry and Roger Hutz, and uh, we were going to have it on the reservoir property, the federal land, and they didn't tell us we couldn't, but they told us they kind of frowned upon it, so we were looking, we are scrambling to find another place, and we thought we might have it up at, at uh, my house, and uh, I asked Jerry if that'd be all right, and he said, hell, don't have it there, why don't we have it down at my place, and uh, the rest is history. They just call me the prick. <laughs> that's and that's basically what I'm supposed to do is just are be you, the asshole out are here. Are you head and, security guy? No, I'm not head security. I'm the guy that's got to look after all the parking and. Okay. So came out here just to attend, and it was such a great time. Decided to try to be a little bit of a part of it. So you haven't enjoyed yourself since, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ever since then, it's all been it's all been work stuff. Right. Uh, right. Full service. Espresso bar and food catering yeah, facility. Yes. Okay. We offer a wide variety of foods from fresh pastas to turkey ciabatta, steak ciabatta with guacamole. Full breakfast menu. We do 18 shows a year from May to the end of October throughout the country. Everything uh, Minnesota West. And uh, we've turned down a major show this year to be here and we're proud of it. What? That's a great thing. What uh, what makes this festival different than maybe something that you did turn down? That... Well, you know, the cliche that a lot of people are really wanting anymore is the grassroots level where it all began. And this is offering that with the twist of a, a higher-end show, a more VIP creation for the patrons that come and exist during this festival right. uh, that you don't get everywhere else. Right. In the summertime, there ain't no reason and there ain't no right. Old men and women acting like little boys and girls everywhere in this blue eyed world. Still line up to the next county. Bet your folks there are getting rowdy. Take yourself out there to Lone Tree sometime tonight. Main Street is looking like a real good time. There's madness on Main Street. Every city it's the same street At 9 o'clock those lights go dead 10 o'clock and we're taking a spin Now 11 o'clock and we're starting to rock Midnight Well let me see, who am I? I'm Bob Dorr, I have had a public broadcasting career in the state of Iowa for over 35 years, radio and television. We're at Camp Euphoria, which is in Lone Tree, just a little bit outside of Iowa City, for a two-day festival called uh, Camp Euphoria. And this is my first time, so I'm a virgin euphorist. And uh, I was invited by uh, the Euphorchestra, who uh, owns and operates Camp Euphoria, to be the stage host for a day. And when I explained, well, I have this band that's been together for 27 years and summertime is really about the only time that we have a chance to make a living at this, they said, well, I think it's time we put one of your generation's bands on the bill. <laughs> so I'm, I, got, I got double duty to be part of uh, Friday's Camp Euphoria. And I'm just overwhelmed by the organization that these guys have put together. Just it seems like they have uh, every band member has a, a delegated duty, and it is just something beyond my wildest dreams. I thought, eh, there'd be maybe 10 people here, and uh, we're having a party on the farm. No, this is the real deal. This is a, a real genuine festival, and I am tickled beyond belief to be part of it. I, Oh, you're getting hot. Oh, 
ready to drop. Now at 2 a.m., the band says they're ready to stop, but you're not. You're getting that sucker to win. Cheap motel room with all the blue band again. And now for a.m. You know all good things just gotta end. But tomorrow night, we'll start all over again. We start all over again. You know what to do. This path is on Main Street. Every city, it's the same street. Yeah. 
Cause I'm making plans to not much Back up, so back up, back up Not that the house windows and the patients Supposed to be a tool of information We change the channel but there's no good station The tool is broken so we disengage But well, I've been searching yes for a reason And it can't be found Why this is shit man been repeating Repeating itself Now that we're from this far here With a long way to go Don't you know we got to keep on going there Going, go, 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 boogie man Boogie, 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 boogie,
alone He called the earth and hell is home There's no way to tie him down The thing is lost but it's really found And if you ask him where he's been Said he's been to the fire to the valley, to the river, winding long, to the shelter, to the city, there's the shed on the to be involved in a festival such as this should make the time and take the time to do it because it brings a wide variety of people together people that normally don't meet completely different styles of bands with a completely different fan base all in one spot all having a good time going to school yeah, around here or what do you Kirkwood. Yeah, Kirkwood so yeah. really good times awesome. but euphoria yeah, sure. rock yeah, Euphoria or yeah, Euphoria should have played an awesome set last night. Right on. So yeah. looking forward to it tonight as well. Talking heads, yeah. looking for some reggae tonight. Right on. Yeah. Sarasota, Florida. 
How'd you get here? Yeah, we drove. Why are you here just for the camp euphoria? No, we're uh, doing flood damage. We work for Service Master. How the people been in Iowa here? Oh, they're awesome. awesome. Yeah. I understand why they call it the Heartland now. Yeah. Uh, it's not because it's the middle of the country. It's because everybody here's got so much heart. I mean, honestly. Thanks. Babies and ants and 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 ladies celebrating. <laughs> Camp U4. Yeah, we're all together and our families and our friends and we came to watch Camp Euphoria. That's the nature. Yeah. Came all the way yeah. to Norway, country Norway to watch. Yeah. Other accoutrements. You know, we have good fresh time. air, sunshine, and then of course Jerry, our host, who makes this all happen. Talk about Chewbacca. Mm. Oh, check this out. I do a mogwai. That's gremlins. What do you like about uh, Camp Euphoria? Oh. You know, this is kind of the way things should be. It's an absolutely calm, it is a uh, accepting place. Uh, it's inclusive as opposed to exclusive. I was raised in Iowa. This is, as I travel a lot internationally, this is what people expect of Iowa. Iowa has a good reputation. How about you? What's going on? Why are you here? Well, I'm here because this is, my kids have left home and in a way I get to be 18 again. You know, you have that time of you have to be responsible and all grown up. And now I can be grown up and still play like I used to. So this is the way to do it. And really, I could take any music or leave it, um, uh, because I'm, I I was a geologist for six and a half years, and I'd go up in the mountains and have for a week at a time without with no music, with silence. I love silence too. So, but but there's a place, a time and a place for music, and obviously, a music festival is a time and a place.
Passing by a flower garden, you just stop and smell the roses. You know that two or three seconds you get when you're like in a joy state. And, and this weekend is like a whole weekend of that for your life. Um, and then on Monday morning, most of us get up and we go back to our cubicles, check our outlook, and uh, wish our cell phone was broke. So uh, that's pretty much where it's at. How do you do that? Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of different elements. Um, I dealt with mainly one of those elements, and that was volunteer coordinating. What that takes is uh, quite a bit of time online and then uh, in the end on the phone. And I also uh, coordinated the heads of all the stuff, so we had a lot of conversations there. And yeah, it's, just, it's really fun. It's really fun for me, so. Travis on the base. 
Any on the keys? I've been to all five of them. Yeah, I, uh, I used to play with Public Property before I was in Euph Orchestra, and Public Property was at the first festival. And then I actually ended up joining Euph Orchestra shortly after that, and so I've been here every year with them. But, but yeah, we were, Public Property was the first band at the first, uh, back when we called it the Euph Orchestra Fan Appreciation Party. Um, and it was just a big party. We didn't charge any cover. We bought a bunch of free kegs, and it was, it was right here. It was uh, the main stage was actually against the garage as opposed to against the barn where it is now. But it was uh, a lot of fun. It was just a huge party, and there were five local bands. And each year, it's gotten bigger and a little bit more. You know, they tighten the screws, figure out what we did wrong the year before, and try to fix as much stuff as we can. And so far, it looks like this is going to be the best one yet.
Usually, oh, just about every year, we've started uh, thinking about what bands we want to have in December. And then from December on is when, okay, we start thinking about the lineup and what we want to do exactly. And then from there, you know, it's, it's basically December, January on through July. And it's really only like the last two weeks leading up to it that we actually have to work out here and prepare the grounds. But just for, you know, six or seven months, it's phone calls and city council meetings and that sort of stuff and zoning permits and all that. Well, you know, I personally, I prefer the smaller music festivals. I, the big ones are a lot of fun, but they're too much for me to handle. I like the small, intimate setting where it's a lot of familiar faces and, you know, you know the people. It's a small staff. You don't have to, you know, yank people around and be real strict with people because it's a small group of people that are really respectful, you know. Oh, yeah. Just like we say, it's a celebration of community and music. It really is. I mean, a lot of the people here, I don't know, maybe like 50% of the people here probably know 10 or 15 other people that are also here and maybe only traveled five, five miles to get here. So they really are from Iowa City or from the, the greater Iowa City area and they are interested in preserving the land and preserving the community and the music and maybe this is the only festival or the only concert they go to all year round so it's more than just hey I'm gonna go see this band play or that band play or I'm going to a festival it's let's all get together let's go to camp before yeah, it's become a yearly thing that everybody wants to be a part of it's a significant um, amount of time it's it's a, an emotional commitment it's a physical commitment it's a time commitment you know the whole thing I, I really I put my everything into it. I, I, I love doing this. It, it uh, helps me wake me up in the morning. So, you know. I think a lot of people, you know, when they, when we tour outside of the Midwest, people ask us about Iowa. You know, like where, where are you from? They're like, we're like Iowa, and you know, they you know they kind of laugh. It's always like a joke, kind of. But I don't think people realize how tight the scene is here. It's really, it's surprising, I guess, in a lot of ways. But it's good, good stuff here.
have a good weekend, a great summer, and we'll see you again real soon.
the night.
Yes, make some noise for this beautiful weather. They said it was gonna rain. We've been blessed, this is a blessed day. The fight for your life, yeah. You had to see the truth, cause they will always hide it from you. It's not strong, but what is your right? As a child of the soul of this earth of the universe. Now tell me, who did the Kennedys? Who shed the blood of Mr. Martin Luther King Jr.? Now tell me, who is behind the scenes? Who forced the tears of Queen Lily Wokalani? You said the fight for your life, yeah. Time and I don't plan to see the revolutionaries Stop strong, what is your life? Now let me tell you fast and news The game is these obituaries You sit the fight for your life, yeah The power struggle is drawn by your money hunger You sit the fight for your life, yeah The ballot box is on by these power thuggers Wake up to a new day, yeah Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up Wake up and hold some people only living for the satellite. Yeah. Yeah, now. It's messages from all your people, from prime ministers down to political friends. You don't think that the cause on real. We all are rested till it keeps you in reach. You sit the fight for your life, yeah You have to seek the truth cause they will always hide them from you You sit the fight for your life, yeah You see your fire, yeah You see the fire from the darkness is sparked Every man, woman, child Till the darkness she return To the darkness she retire While your life burn bright Shine bright with your child Shine love in your life Shine justice on the fire Corruption and scandals Rolling all of our channels They dictate Stations controlling your brain Let nobody take it down Let no money be your crown When the truth is the key Then I feel that's the sound You said the fight for your life Yeah You have to see the truth Cause they will always hide it from you Stop strong What is your right As a child of the soul Of the earth of the universe You said the fight for your life Yeah Time and I don't plan to see the revolutionaries They start strong, but what is your life line? Every right. day we pass and news, the game sees obituary This message just for all your people From prime ministers down to political friends You don't think that the cuts are real We all arrest it till it keeps you can free these people This message just for all your people This song just for all your people Yes, for wrong, your people. It's not yes, for wrong, your people. Wake up to a new day, yeah. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Yeah, now. Nah. Wake up, yeah. Wake up, people. Wake up to a new day, yeah. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up your eyes. Some people only live for the south.
Thank you. As far as um, having localized music festivals and localized radio stations that specialize in the music of the people who actually live and work in within the broadcast region or within a, a short driving distance, everybody knows that gasoline probably is going to be five dollars a gallon by the end of the summertime. And you know, traveling to large festivals is, you know, and having to pay that. $200 ticket to camp and, and everything else is just going to start to be without, I mean, beyond people's reach. So having a festival like this that concentrates exclusively on Iowa and local region artists and for an affordable ticket that offers a sense of community as well, it's really, really important. And to see these guys doing it for their fifth year is just absolutely, I, I'm really, really proud of Euphorchestra. They, they really have put on a, a great thing. I'm proud of them that they're going to sprout their wings and, and see how things go. Sitting on a deck chair high above this old city On a real life genuine old fashioned theme powered airplane Gee, see every time I live such She taught me how to kiss Jesus seen stolen mind blown No other woman I'm known to real deal Kind of woman I love
I think it's wonderful. First of all, it's such an experience to be able to just be outside and enjoying, you know, fresh air and wonderful air. Uh, the music is outstanding. Um, I'm from a country, <laughs> a different country, Norway, which this is not an everyday celebration. This is more like a concert with the Rolling Stones. Right. So this is really, a, you know, a privilege Just, to be part of. Right. And uh, learning a lot. Americans love to live yes. and live to love. So it's, it's, it's cool. It's Absolutely. cool. Really enjoying it. Lots of friends, good friends, great friends and family that also enjoys it so I'm here with a bunch of people just having a walk. Does it get much better than this, right? No, no, this is heaven. <laughs> well, it's Iowa, but it's heaven. Yeah, yeah, right.